He is known as the toughest man in the world. Presenting Andrew the Brick Wall Sosa. I am honestly surprised that David Harbour, or Hollywood for that matter, would make a movie like this glorifying Santa or anything that paints Christmas in a good light. I absolutely cannot believe it. Now, I will say that I have to check my own bias whenever it comes to David Harbour. I just recently started watching Stranger Things and have completed all four seasons, and it's really good. My community tab has more details, and that's why you should subscribe, hit the bell for notifications on all so you can get notified about that, and keep up with me and have a conversation with me there. But... It has really crappy endings to the fights, but the rest of the story and everything, and the acting, the music, and everything, the old school feel of it, is incredible. So with that being said, David Harbour is also a great actor, and I've always been a little bit biased towards him for how short bus he is in some of his comments, but I will admit this. He doesn't let it get in the way of his acting. He's still a good actor, and I'm always waiting for him to like put some sort of wokeness within his shows, but he actually doesn't. So I'm actually gaining more respect for him and checking my own bias, and I need to be able to give him less of a hard time because I'm letting my own bias get in the way of his shows, and I need to stop doing that. So I'm admitting fault whenever it comes to this one. And you know what? He does it here again. I'm sorry to disappoint the lefties whenever it comes to this. This is not going to be a lefty rendition or have any agenda whenever it comes to this. It actually has diverse casting done in the right way. So if anything, the movie leans more right. And even the bad guys are actually people of color. And everybody is mixed race in here. There is a racial couple where the man is actually the light skin color and the woman's black, which is not normal. Normally, it's always the black man with the white woman because they want to demasculinize and turn soy boys into all the white Libby men and stuff like that. So for all those who were hoping that this was actually going to fulfill their Hollywood dreams, let me just go ahead and say this to y'all in the spirit of happy holidays. (laughs) Ha! No. You honestly think that I would say something like that? Happy holidays? You know, I've been wanting to say this for a couple of years now. Screw you, it's Merry Christmas. Now let's address the movie itself. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and to the point. All you have to do for this movie is turn your brain off and you will have a wonderful time. Seriously. I was expecting some sort of story. I was expecting a little bit more substance to this movie. Just a little bit more. I wasn't expecting anything big or hardcore. But there's absolutely none of that within this movie. None. So, if you just go in there with no expectations and are in and come in with a mood to be silly and just have a wonderful time with your family and friends, definitely don't go and see and take your kids to see. This is rated R for a reason because it's very gory. But it's actually a lot of fun. The humor is good. The action is well placed. It goes back and forth between the silliness of like parody John Wick stuff that makes absolutely no sense. But then it actually gets down to some real fight scenes and it's actually really good. Links in the description and first comment to my professional fight videos and other content debunking David Harbour's real life short bus quotes. But yeah, it was actually very good. I am very critical on Hollywood because they do terrible fight scenes nowadays. But these were actually really fun, creative. They are able to insert all sorts of Christmas jokes and even into the action scenes, all sorts of different weapons that can be made of it. They reference Home Alone and do great parodies and skits about that, especially with the little girl in there who is absolutely cute. It was actually a fun time. Now, at the beginning, I was kind of, I didn't come in with the right mindset. I didn't come in with the right expectation, and I was a little bit thrown off by that. But once I put my mind in the right place of just not taking the movie seriously, it's actually a lot of fun. Everybody was laughing about it and everything like that. There's really not that much else to say about it, except it's a good time. That's really all there is to say about it. So go and see this. You don't need my blessing, but you have it. You don't have to worry about any propaganda or anything getting to you. It's just a fun movie where you're not thinking about anything else, and people who really love the holiday spirit are actually going to enjoy it. So, like I said before a million times, I didn't even do it at the beginning. 
sub hit the bell and all so you can see all my future content smash that thumbs up like button leave a comment support the messed up youtube algorithm if you have any specific questions i'll happily answer them if not put a smiley face algorithm comment post that it really helps out the channel and share this around with everybody that you know the marketing for this one wasn't that great they gave a lot of way a lot of free passes for the early screening to the general public and yeah it did okay but i'm not so sure that this is going to be a huge hollywood smash hit or anything but it doesn't need to be. It's just something that people can kind of enjoy. I don't expect it to be that successful, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are going to actually enjoy this. And you know what? I wouldn't be mad if it did. I think it actually kind of deserves it at least a little bit. So follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Odyssey. Those will be linked in the description, first comment as well. Uh, Odyssey, Rumble, TikTok, the most important ones. And consider, and consider tri contributing me monetarily. PayPal is a membership. I, I know they're a trash company. But they have a monthly membership op option, unlike Cash App or Venmo. So got to use them for now. And hopefully I'll be able to get off of it as soon as possible. But I can't wait to see what y'all have to say. Ch and there should be some tasks popping up on the screen of all those other videos and content I think you'll enjoy. If none of those took your fancy, check the rest of my channel. There's something on here for everybody. UFC fight content, political humor, my own professional fights, UFC stuff. Like I said, Baki the Grappler, Dragon Ball. All fiction content. Anyways, that's enough of me ranting. Peace out, my friend. Let's go, Brandon. Oh,